Hey, this is Rex from Kill Devil Hill. This is Wednesday 13. This is Dad from Devil Drive. This is Odorous from Water. You're listening to Rabbit Noise. On Rabbit Radio. Turn it up. Michael, how are you, man? Hey, Michael. I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Hey, how are you? 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 Hey, yeah, and then it's uh, it's the next leg of the uh, Queen's Right Condition Human Tour. We're doing our own shows and festivals and uh, some shows with the Scorpions. That puts us up into June, and uh, then we're gonna you know do some select shows, and then we start Europe, and then come back, and then we uh, obviously you know we go to Japan and then to Australia, and um, you know maybe some other countries, and then we've finish up the uh, Conditioned Human Tour in the United States, and that puts us into December. Uh, you know, we're, they're already starting to, to book shows for the following year. <laughs> That's insane, man. Because uh, I was looking at the, all the dates, and I was just like, man, I'm a lot in there. I mean, you know, how do you even prepare yourself for heading out on a massive tour like that? That's, it's just huge. You know, it's it's kind of a mental, mental thing as well as a physical thing. I think, you know... Um, I pride myself and keep myself, you know, in halfway decent shape for my age and, you know, and just keep myself really alert and, in, you know, uh, as far as performance level, you know, I just really want to keep that going, you know, because I'm just so critical of my playing and uh, it's just something you do. And, and I think, you know, when we tour now, we, we, we do like maybe four to six weeks at a time and then we're able to come back home and then we're mm. uh, we're okay, you know, we get some rest and then go back out again and then rest and then... So, you know, it's just... Uh, I've been doing it so many years, my friend. It's just... Uh, I'm just like a road dog, but, you know, now I'm just an older <laughs> road dog, so... Do you find it hard to sort of, like, readjust the things after being on the road for so long? You know what I mean? Like, you go out for this long period of time and then come back to try and get back into sort of routine at home and stuff like that. Is that tricky? Um, no, well, you know, it's like... Uh, we we toured so heavily on the last album and now we're we're doing the same thing on Conditioned Human. And mm. this is going to put us up to the end of the year. And I think uh, we're going to begin starting uh, the next record in January. So That's we're exciting kind of stuff. in that cycle of what... Yep, exactly. You know, it's like the record company has exercised its uh, option to do uh, the third album with us. So we got to fulfill that and, you know, we'll we'll get busy doing that, you know. And, that's kind of nice because, you know, we, we record that in Seattle, so I get to stay home and do that. But then after that, you know, yeah, I got to get in that frame of mind to get back out on the road again. That's that's awesome news for us, you know. More Queen, Queen's Rock. Mm-hmm. Well, man, you act broke recently that you guys will be, of course, touring Australia again, and uh, as we mentioned before, of course, and uh, it's well overdue. Yeah, I think last time we were in Australia was 2011. It's been a while, so I think um, it's a good good time you know it's good timing for queen's right to get back to australia we, we really want everybody to see uh you know this rendition of the band it's really uh, a kick-ass show and it's going to be a good time and i think you know the australia fans are are you know into so much of the hard rock and the metal and the progressive rock you know it's just a great place for us to play oh man we're, we're so excited to, to uh see you guys come back like my news feed just blew up as soon as the news announced so many people are pumped it's going to be such a good tour. Uh, everyone's really looking forward to it, man. What, what tracks off uh, Condition Human have you found, you know, have been getting the best responses live so far? Um, definitely uh, Arrow of Time was the first one we introduced. And then uh, then we we started uh, playing uh, Guardian. And Guardian is, is really just kicking ass. It's a, it's a very ener- energetic song, and we're really... Mm. Uh, getting a lot of positive feedback with that. And then lately we've been playing this uh, kind of progressive song called I-9. And um, that one's, uh, you know, people really wanted to hear that. So now a lot of people want to hear Hellfire. So I think we're going to work on that one as well. So we've just been getting tons and tons of requests for that song. Yeah. So then uh, and then we've done, uh, let's see, we've done Bulletproof as well. So, yeah, I mean, we're, we're representing the, the album. We like to get a couple newer songs in there that people haven't heard, you know, because everybody's wanting to hear the, the, mm. the new music live. And we'll see what we can do. <laughs> well, it's always a good sign, man, that the album's done really well when people are just hanging to hear 
hear some of those new ones live, you know, as well as, you know, the classic tracks. You know, which of the, which of the tracks off Condition New Human have you found being the trickiest to jam out live, that would translate to live? Well, definitely the the last one that we've done, I nine, because it's it's a quirky song. It's it's like in threes. You know, most of, most of the songs we we play are in fours and sixes, and um, this one is just a uh, it's kind of a very progressive musically uh, sounding song, and it's it's a bit tricky to play live. So we're we're still cutting our teeth on it. <laughs> man, that one is awesome. That's cool, man. Well. Uh... A lot of guitarists I know uh, don't just have one act. They usually have about five just around the house, or even more if they're serious, serious players that I know. How many guitars would you say you own in your collection? Oh, I, I own quite a few. You know, I, I was touring back in the days uh, when we were touring on uh, Operation Mindcrime and Empire. Uh, we were touring so much, you know, and the ESP guitar company who I represent was... Uh, you know, they needed to, to market and promote their guitars, so uh, they, it would give me a ton of guitars to take out on the road, you know, and, and play. Um, so, I mean, I, I've acquired quite a few uh, ESPs in my life, you know, so, but definitely, I, I you know, I got to have probably anywhere from 70 to 100. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, and where would you even put them all? <laughs> they're everywhere, you know, they're in closets, <laughs> they're under beds, you know, they're they're uh, in rooms or in the attic. It's like, you know, it's, it's crazy. Just uh, open the fridge. Yeah, and then, you know. Them, yeah, you know, just, <laughs> just everywhere, you know. And then, you know, we have a, we have a storage unit as well. Um, of course. Like that. So some of them are there and it's, uh, it's but yeah, there's no shortage. They're, they're hanging on the wall, you know, and like, so people come in my house and go, oh, you must be in a band. Uh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> uh, Do you, uh, I recognize that guitar. <laughs> Uh, have you got one that's like uh, got the, which one would you say has got the most personal value to you that so maybe someone's given you or a hero of yours or maybe have signed or framed or anything like that? Um, well, the, the I have the very first guitar that ESP gave me um, it was back in like 88, 89. It was right before we went on the uh, uh, Metallica and Justice for All tour. And uh, that guitar, I, I've you know, it still sounds great, and um, that's probably one of my favorites. And then, obviously, my uh, my signature series guitars, the ones that I'm known for, are the ones that have the, you know the, the skulls on them. You know, now, um, you know, I, we've done a couple different renditions of those. Um, we've made the skulls glow, <laughs> and uh, offered uh, uh, you know just quality parts on it, and and uh, just did a uh, an Empire guitar. It's got got the uh, the big trireke on it. That's our symbol. Mm-hmm. And um, that that one's doing really well, and so so those are all you know. I mean, I'm basically I'm really known for the one with the, the skull guitar. So that's that's the one, and I've, I've got quite a few of those, and they, they sound great. That's awesome, man. So I guess you know you you have some personal connection to each and one of each one of them. I guess It'd be kind of like choosing your favorite child. <laughs> it really is, you know. It's like some. <laughs> Some, uh, you know, depending on what kind of amp configuration I was using, you know, mm. it's, but, uh, you know, now it's just that I have the main ones that, that I've used for all the tours that I knew that, you know, sounded good that I've recorded with and everything. And I have those kind of around me at all the time. And, and uh, you know, when I get a new guitar, um, then, you know, I can compare it to those and see if it stands up to the test. And, but, yeah, it's just you know, different guitars and, you know, and there was a, a period, you know, the kind of the, the period that most people don't remember Queens, right. But I, I was playing kind of, mm. uh, uh, Les Pauls for a while, you know, the, the ESP Les Paul is called the Eclipse and I was playing those for a while. So and I kind of put those away. I haven't played those in a while. And th- those things sounded great too. So, you know, definitely, uh, love the ESP guitars. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Well, uh, you know, but you dropped, uh, some news before that you're actually going to be working on some uh, a, a new album. Has it got a name? How how far along are you guys in prep for that? Oh, it's it's in the incubation period. You know, it's just talk. It's uh, um, we have plenty, plenty, plenty of demos and and uh, ideas, and it's you know we just got to put them together. We got to build it. So we have uh, you know plenty, plenty of uh, work to do. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> see what happens, and you know I, I we. 
we don't have a name. We, the name for our albums usually come at the last minute. You know, it's uh, you know something, and it's like we we see what we have, we get the sum total of what we have, and, and what does it all mean to us? And that's kind of how the album uh, name comes <laughs> about. It's, and I think you know that we're gonna uh, just run you know run with the same process that we did on the last album. Really, just uh, go with uh, everybody's songs and build them up, and just see what happens. Oh man, it's it's exciting times to be a Queens Rock band, that's for sure. And uh man, this tour, it's gonna be amazing. I think so, you know, it's it's um you know, it's great when you when you've played places and played festivals around the world and then, you know, they want you back. You know, mm. it's like um it it's really uh it's really gratifying to be able to do that again. You know, it's uh, um, I think, you know, just, just the fact that, you know, we're going back to Australia, we're going back to Japan. It's been a long time been in Japan and, and, uh, you know, we're getting offers from other countries. So it's, uh, we're just going to take it, take it as we can and, and, uh, you know, tour the hell out of this album. Let's kick off. Well, uh, man, we're going to go to the track Guardian from Condition Human now. Look, thanks so much for taking the time to hang with us tonight, man. And, uh, of course, we will see you in Brisbane at the Triffids on October 13. I'll be there. Everyone's going to be there. Let's have some beers and party on. Right on, brother. And uh, thanks for supporting the Reich. And, uh, you know, all the best to Rapid Noise. Thanks, Steve, man. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in October, bro. All right. Take care, man. See ya.